groundbreaking Super FX chip shooter up, Star Fox, it's called Starwing in the UK. But do you know why? Well, it's got nothing to do with another game called Star Fox released in 1987 on the 8-bit home computers. It's a, unassociated with that at all. It's to do with a 1983 release, called, also called Star Fox, by the developing house Mythicon. They failed to apply for a patent for it in the United States, hence why Star Fox can be called Star Fox over there. They did, however, file a trademark for it in Europe. So when Nintendo wanted to release Star Fox in the, in the UK, they had to rename it Starwing because this patent still existed, even though Mythicon had gone out of business the same year as their very first game. So, it's all down to do with legal red tape. And strangely enough, that patent still dragged on until the second game for the N64. It couldn't be called Star Fox 64 over here, so they renamed it Lilac Wars. Both of them names, for some reason, carried over to the Australian market as well, even though that was not affected by what was going on over here. General Pepper would have been flipping furious. In the UK, the puff. <laughs> Why? Well, in 1987, a game, a game, a game, to do with the renaming. No, the renaming was all to do with a patent filed by Mythicon Soft or Mythicon Bollocks. Typically, Europe, uh, European legislation red tape bollocks. And an odd fact about this is the Australian releases of both Star Wing and or Star Fox. Groundbreaking Polar. <laughs> Do you have a monkey in your pants?